how to create an email template in MailChimp. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to get started with MailChimp and how you can start building your email templates in MailChimp. So let's get into it. Now, MailChimp is a email marketing platform that allows you to create automations as well as build segmentations within your audience. MailChimp allows you to integrate a lot of different tools directly into their email marketing tool. And this can help you with managing your emails and connecting all of your data. Now, if we go on ahead and go into the create button on the top left on MailChimp and we click on design email over here, we can get started with building our email. Now, email templates can be very specific depending on who you want to send them to, as well as very broad. If you're building a generalized template, you can easily create one that can be used to further customize every time you actually have to send out your email. So email template that has your logo, that has a few basic lines in the star, the footers, the social media icons, all of that. But we're going to start building our email template from scratch. So we're going to click on design email over here. And now you will see that you can choose to get started with the MailChimp email template editor. However, you also have some templates that you can use in the premium plan of MailChimp. Now, these are great templates as well, but building your own is really not that hard either. Plus, you also have some basic template layouts that you can use. If you go into the all templates section, you will find these types of email templates such as your bold, minimal, natural, gallery, simple text, column, SMS, different ratios of columns, product, announcement, story, welcome, and more. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the welcome templates and or one of the basic templates, this one over here, the minimal template, and we're going to click on apply over here. And now we can get started with editing our template. Now I've already added our logo in MailChimp, so it's automatically inserted that directly over here. Now on the top, we have this view this email in your browser button, which I will be removing. Now, after you have your logo, you will click on your logo and find different alignments for it. Well, you can align it to any one particular section if you want. And then after that, you have your block background options. And then you also have your link to alternate text color background and padding as well now i'm going to convert this back to the original size and if you take a look like this you can actually increase and decrease the size of the logo as well now below that you are going to click on the text once you click on the text you can start replacing each individual text line and you can format it on your own as well so let's say that i want to build an email template that i want to send out as a welcome to our newsletter so i'm just going to add welcome to dear den which is our branch name and then after that we are going to add a little bit of a text line now make sure to keep in mind that people might be opening their emails on their phones as well so you want to make sure that your email template is optimized for that as well so you don't want to go too heavy on the text, especially if you're creating, you know, these basic templates that you're going to further customize. So I'm just going to add a few lines that would be representative, representative of our brand. You want to make sure that these are really befitting. You can use AI to help you write these as well, but make sure these are really befitting and these provide the customers an incentive to purchase from you or, you know, open your email. So we focus on color theory and color theory, personal style and aesthetic. And we will show you how to find your own in our newsletters. And then after that, I am going to add an image. So this is the image block. I'm going to click on add and click on upload image. Now we're just going to go into our downloads over here. So I'm just going to be taking one of these images and I'm going to click on open over here and we're just going to wait for our image to be uploaded. So our image has now been added. Now this is a pretty large image so I can make it slightly smaller like this just to make it easier for us to navigate through it. And then after that you will see your basic content info. You have your text block background as well. Now if you click on edit image over here. 
this will actually open up the image editor that you have in MailChimp. So if you want to customize the size of the image, you can do that as well. So if you want to build your custom size like this, let's say I want to reduce the size. I'm just going to do it like this and then I can do a basic cut like this. So I'm going to click on save once I'm satisfied with the appearance. And like this, I've cropped my image. You have more editing tools for images as well. So if you want to do more to your image, such as, you know, do some basic editing, build your own customized image with its filters, its uh, focus, text, text design, and more. Now you guys can see you have multiple different filters that you can add as well. Now, after you have inserted your image in your email template, you want to scroll down and you will see a button. This button is usually going to be a call to action button, depending on what you are selling or what you are promoting. So for us, I'm building my email template as a welcome to our newsletter template for people that have subscribed to my newsletter on my website that is a beauty website so i'm focusing on selling items selling makeup products and you know clothing items so i have i'm going to add shop now and once you add the text in your button on the left side you want to insert the link that people will be led to so whatever your website link is you want to insert that over here now below that you have social media icons and if you just click on this you can go on ahead and insert all of your social media icons and then if you scroll down you will have different icon styles that you add and then you also have your general spacing as well as your alignment color and paddings now below that you have the current copyright info that you want to add so you're going to insert that over here you can do that manually as well as just copy this from your website so usually it's easier just to copy it from our website and then after that you're going to you know list your description and then your mailing address i'm going to remove the second line because it's not related to us and then we're going to add our mailing address which is going to be like this and then after that, you have your basic buttons where people can change how they receive their mail and choose to unsubscribe as well. And then you have your MailChimp logo. Now this is just adding the basic template. Once you've done that, you can click back on add on the top left toolbar and you have multiple different options. So let's say I want to add a little bit of a divider over here. I can do that. And then let's say I want some spacers at the bottom. Now you can do this and once you add a spacer you can also create dynamic content in the premium version of mailchimp now after that you also have some styles that you can customize so if i want all of the body color to be maybe like a pastel pink i can select that and this will change the color of our entire email and then all of the background color to be a certain color so I can change that as well, but I'm going to keep that at white. Then you have your text color for your entire email. So these are your global fonts that you can customize in your styles section. So if I want this to be a dark pink, I'm going to add that over here. Now this will change the color to a dark pink. And then you'll have your line height as well as your line sizes. And now once you've customized this, you can click on save and exit. And now this email template is ready to be sent to any customer that subscribes to your mailing list. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.